We are now going to graph inequalities that pass through the origin. So we're talking about any graph that passes through this point right here. So we'll start with an easy example. Suppose y is greater than 3x. Well, we want to pretend this is an, an equation, y equals 3x. So it's going to start at 0, and we follow our slope. Up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. Go down the same way so we can get our points in. And then when we decide to graph, we do the same thing as before. We look at our inequality, recognized as a strictly greater than, which is a dashed line. But this is where things get different, because now we can't use the point 0, 0. Because 0, 0 is on the graph, on the graph of the line. We can't use that. So we have to pick another point. So we pick any other point we want. I like to pick it so that it has a 0. So let's come out over here. Let's use the point 2, 0 and see if that point is true or not. So we go back to our original and we plug it in. Is 0 bigger than 3 times 2? Well, is, is 0 bigger than 6? No, because it's not. Because that's false, we know we don't shade that side. We shade this side. If it was true, just like last time, we would have shaded the side we were on, that we had tested. But here we don't, because we know for a fact that it doesn't work. Let's look at another example. This time, let's suppose that 5x minus y is less than or equal to 0. Well, just like before, we first convert it. 5x minus y equals 0. Subtract 5x from both sides. Minus y equals minus 5x. Divide both sides by a negative 1. That gets rid of the negative in front of the y. So y equals 5x. Again, we start at the origin. We go up 5 over 1, up 5 over 1, down 5, back 1, down 5, back 1. We go back to our inequality. Notice it's a less than or equal. That means it's solid. Points on this line will make it true. And we'll pick another point to test. Again, we can't use 0, 0, so let's use 2, 0 again. So now we get 5 times 2 minus 0 is less than or equal to 0. 10 minus 0 is less than or equal to 0. Is 10 less than or equal to 0? No, it's false, so I can't shade that side. And again, I shade the other side. Now notice, if I had selected the appropriate side, had I selected, say, negative 2, 0, then we would have had 5 times negative 2 minus 0, which is negative 10 minus 0. And notice that negative 10 is less than 0. Since that's true, then I shade the side that has it. And that's graphing inequalities that pass through the origin.